And one night I'm having dinner with Lou, and I had a lot of respect for this guy. He's very bright and very, uh, obviously a very successful show. And I, I said to him, Lou, where did you get the word L from? He said, I made it up. That's I right. said, why? And then he said something to me. Now, again, this is the 1980s. He said something so profound. He says, I don't think my viewing audience knows what you guys do for a living. We were talking about Wall Street with, with Lou Rucka. Uh, I was on the show as a regular panelist for 23 years, Alan. Oh, you were the elf. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was that's elf the too. point yeah. I'm bringing up. I was. He, he called us technicians elves. Yeah. And one night I'm having dinner with Lou, and I had a lot of respect for this guy. He's very bright and very uh, obviously a very successful show. And I, I said to him, Lou, where did you get the word elf from? He said, I made it up. That's I right. said, why? And he said something to me. Now, again, this is the 1980s. He yeah. said something so profound. He says, I don't think my viewing audience knows what you guys do for a living. That's true. He's absolutely right. Yeah, he was. There was no formal classes. At least the organization that we started is formally pushing yeah. for education. Well, not, yeah, and guys think, like me yeah. now are starting. To, I'm teaching at St. Thomas University sure. in Minnesota. And, right. and you know what the dean said to me a year ago when she invited me over? She said, Ralph, we, the academic, she, we need a subject and a person who can bridge the academic world and the real world. Right. I looked at it. I practically kissed her. I said, you're absolutely right. That's exactly what the subject does. They teach these kids all the economics and the quantitative analysis, but oh, they don't know when to pull the trigger. And they had to go through modern port th and, and PT, theory. And PT, oh, and yeah, all that And the efficient stuff. market hypothesis, yeah, which been, was all been, proven poop. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the... I'll, in but fact, it, was in, it was at the bottom line critical of what we were doing. Yeah. But only because they were ignorant. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. You know, that's, uh, that's why it was our job to, to, to educate. To educate and people. Yeah. So yeah. Far. And I, I, Even if we had to pull tricks and show them charts without names. Yeah. 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 I remember <laughs> you used to go to a client and turn the chart upside down, put it over the window. Oh, say, do, would well, you buy this? Right. Yeah. 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 Hold, and the guy take said, it no, the, I wouldn't buy that. And then you turn it upside down. You take it in the mirror and you can see the mirror image. Yeah. And then you'd say, well, look at this. I think you should be buying it. Yeah. Yeah. Got it upside down. Yeah. Graphics. That's the data visualization. That's what we're talking about. And also the fact that we had just an impact outside of this country. Oh, yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. Uh, I remember giving a speech before the Nippon, the Japanese the Nippon, the uh, analyst technical society. Analyst society. Yeah. yeah. And that's where technical analysis really started, charting. Japanese used oh, charts. Japanese, late 1700s. To plot, plot the price of rice. Yes. Right, exactly way back right. in the 1700s. Yeah. Yeah, and there are certain Japanese techniques today, like called candlestick charting, which I've never really studied carefully. But still, you know, you know oh, no, well. no, no, I, I, it's fun, Alan. It, it, it's really good. I know, but anyhow, I mean, yeah, I can remember going to Zurich and having a packed lunch group. Yeah, and the people just picked up on the discipline and followed us, and of course, we always had the the, the chart package with us. Yes, you know, what good is it? Chartist doesn't yeah, have his charts. He's down in charts, you can't, of course. Can't of course. Make, make them visualize it. That's right, exactly. You know, my first trip to Japan, and I, I left you in 1980, okay, with Kidder Peabody. Yeah. Note the date, December 7th, oh, 1981. Boy. It's the 40th anniversary oh, of gee. Pearl Harbor. Yes. I get off the plane. I didn't know what I was doing. My firm didn't tell me to bring a lot of cards because you pass out cards. And don't, they didn't don't, tell me to take my shoes off. And and I, didn't, I did everything wrong. Right. But they were very gracious and very wonderful. And the Nippon Society of Technicians. And, and typical of the Japanese, they're very gracious and they gave me a gift. Yes. On the way. So and I they, listened to this. They bowed to you. And they, they, I am on the plane. I'm opening the book, you know, yeah. of course, the Japanese read this way, and we read this way, yes, and, yes. I, and then I'm looking at it on the plane, I said, gee, this, it's all in Japanese, what am I going to do with it? Guess what I did with the book, Alan? Yeah. I put it in the org our organization, remember in 1975, we started the library at the sure. New York Institute of Finance? Yes. Well, I put the book in the library. This is 1981. Fast forward a couple of years, there's a young analyst at Merrill Lynch called Steve Nissen, yes. goes to the library, sees the book. I didn't ask questions. He had yeah. it translated, and he brought candlesticks to the United States. That's right. My book. Yep. <laughs> Can you believe that? Well, he gave Isn't that credit. exciting? Yeah, no, he gave the library credit, but yep. he doesn't know. To this day, I got to call him and tell him that was the, the book. That's, okay. that's, that's a great stories. Yes, indeed. And, uh, yeah, no, the, 
I, I remember going to Europe with you, and boy, the Europeans, they sucked it up. They were, I think, more so than a lot of Americans, the acceptance of technical. I, I, I think they well, were. Well, I think the greatest thrill I ever had on that score was what, when we went to places, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Zurich, yeah. Geneva, Lugano, Milan, yeah, in a week. or wherever, <laughs> we would always have the chief investment officer or the, or the chief portfolio manager. We didn't go, like, to talk to a an auto analyst or, or a oh, bank yeah. analyst or right whatever. To we the... had the decision makers usually yeah. as our audience. Yeah. And and it, and they, they caught on real fast yeah. that there was something to these trends and stuff like that that would help yeah. them manage risk yeah. and enhance reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, we, you know, it was just a thrill to have been part of that. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think I told you a couple of weeks ago, I was invited to Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. And one of the salesmen, when we merged into Smith Barney in 1976, yes. T.J. Johnson, he uh, said, hey, you got to come. I, I, I hadn't seen Johnson in 40 years. He said, come on out. He invites yeah. me out. I, I teach at a university, and we just have a million laughs. And we were just talking about the old days and how much fun yep, great. it was. And, I, I, and, and in the front of this group, I said, I'm giving the presentation. I said, TJ, you got to stand up. I said, this is the fellow that brought techni he brought technical analysis to Ohio because he dragged you and me around to That's meet right. the clients. That's and right. that was the first exposure. I think in the 1970s, late 70s, too. Correct. So, yep. you know. Spent a lot of time in Congratulations. Columbus. Congratulations. You and I, uh, yeah. you know, brought the oh, word look at that. You know, I'm, I'm proud yes. of that. I'm okay. proud of that. And you know, that's it. That's, that's right. And, and it's, you know what but really but a fascinating me, career. Yes. And it's wonderful to look up over my shoulder and see the younger fellas that are doing it. Obviously, these... They're oh, a lot sure. younger than we are. Oh, yeah. But they are the new giants, to use your exactly. phrase. Giants standing on the shoulders of giants. Yeah. You stood on Ralph Rottenham's shoulders. I yeah. stood on your shoulders. And they're standing on our shoulders. And, and they have the same... heavy, you know, Ralph. You know what, <laughs> you know what, you know what I, I love about it? They have the same passion, desire, and focus on the subject as we did, you know? Yeah. And I'm very glad to pass the baton over. Sure. And And... They're gonna they're doing wonderful things, and I I I gotta tell you I'm impressed as heck looking at their presentations with all the beautiful graphics and oh, everything. Oh yeah, powerpoints and, and things like that. And you were right. Sure. They they at the end of all this they say keep it simple, stupid.